Dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I start, I would like to ask you to close the cameras and microphone in order to have a, a, a smooth uh, evening. Um, Your Excellency, Ms. Popeler, uh, Mr. Knais, dear Mozarteva last members, dear friends, Happy New Year. I would like to welcome you uh, at the 2022 20, uh, Mozarteva last annual general meeting and conference. This year event will be a hybrid one due of the Omicron uh, variant. We prefer to have on here um, in Athens uh, with a physical presence, only the board, and I would like to ask the board to come here to, to, to be here. Um, the president, Evgenia um, Potanopoulou, uh, Nina Patrikino, the vice president, and uh, the treasurer, uh, Tula Votanopoulou and myself, the, uh, the Secretary General Costa Siatru. Together with us, as already said, we have the presence of uh, Her Excellency Hermine Popular, the Ambassador of Austria and Greece. And this is a great honor for, for us and personally and on the board and also for Mozart Temelas. Now, Evgenia Votanopoulou, the President of Mozart Temelas, will present the organization annual report. Evgenia, you have the floor. Okay. Your Excellency, Mrs. Popeler, Mr. Hainais, dear Mozartem, her last members, dear friends, looking back into 2021 and under the circumstances, we must say that Mozartem, her last, was quite active organizing and participating in numerous activities. At this point, I would like to thank both the Austrian Embassy in Greece and particularly Her Excellency Hermine Popeler and her team, um, as well as the Salzburg Mozarteum Foundation, Mr. Rainer Fenais and the team of the foundation for their close and warm collaboration and support. To begin with Mozarteum and last activities, it was a great joy for us all to have the presentation of the newly found Mozart's musical masterpiece. 94 seconds, which, which was recently acquired by the Salzburg Mozarteum Foundation by Dr. Ulrich Leisinger, head of the research department of the Salzburg Mozarteum Foundation, during the annual general meeting and conference of Mozarteum Hellas, which was, which was virtually held in 15th of February 2021. We had the honor to participate for the first time in the 2021 Austrian Greek Music Summer, organized by the Austrian Embassy in Athens, with two concerts, the 30th uh, Nathan Festival on uh, it was on 15th of July, and the 21st uh, International Film Festival that was on uh, 19th of July, with the contribution of Dr. Anya Morgenstern. Concert Master of the Salzburg University Orchestra and researcher of the Digital Mozart Edition of Mozart Foundation Salzburg, and myself performing sonatas for piano and violin by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozarteum Elas hosted its annual summer concert on Wednesday, 21st of July. Since it was a year of 94 seconds, Allegro in the major for piano. I had the honor to perform uh, for the first time in Greece, the new acquired piece. And then we were happy to enjoy young Greek talent musicians performing chamber music by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and the fourth uh, violin concert in the major. On 26th of August, Mozart and last participated in the online conference of Elviv Mozart Festival 2021 on the theme, the role of Mozart's heritage as a key for international inter intercultural relations, relationships, discussing about the role of Mozart's heritage in Greece, the ways of popularization Mozart's ever, and how Mozart's heritage unites the international community. On Thursday, 2nd of September, the newly appointed CEO of Mozarteum Foundation of Salzburg, Mr. Rainer Henais, met with the Mozarteum the last board during his visit in Greece, discussing more ways of collaboration. He 
in cooperation with the Cali Club and under the auspices of Western Embassy in Athens. We organized a concert on Wednesday, 29th of September, with a duet Dilemma, the saxophonist Sotiris Gagas and the guitarist Bobby Delacani, inspired by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, presenting fragments from his works with an improvisational attitude. Mozarteo Melas participated in the 142nd Mozart Tag of the Salzburg Cardeo Foundation, which was held virtually on Friday, 26th of November, 2021. Finally, in collaboration with Athens International Airport and under the auspices of the Salzburg Mozarteo Foundation and Mozarteo Melas, Sky Express organized a festive classical music event at the amphitheater of the Basil and Elise Ulan Ries Foundation with Professor Tibor Kovacs, principal violinist of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, and myself performing works by Mozart, Brahms, Massenet, Tchaikovsky, Chrysler, and Mazzini. We are optimistic that 2022 will be a better year for all, and we are preparing a full program of activities. And, and now we will have the pleasure to listen to two keynote addresses by Her Excellency Hermine Popeler and Rainer Henais. Thank you. Dear President of Mozarteo Mellas, dear Secretary General of Mozarteo Mellas, dear CEO of the Mozarteo Salzburg Foundation, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm very glad to be able to participate at the annual general meeting of Mozarteo Mellas today. Mozarteo Mellas was established in March 2019 and became a non-for-profit organization in June of the same year. Since 17th of June 2019, Mozart Melas is member of the Association Internationale Stiftung Mozart Last summer, we, I mean the Austrian Embassy Athens, had the great cooperation with two concerts in beautiful Sagora and Billion and the Nathion in the framework of the Austrian Big Music Summer, which um, already was mentioned before. The Austrian Greek Music Summer is an initiative of the Austrian Embassy in Athens, which has taken place for the sixth time already in 2021, and which aims to connect young and established musicians from Austria and Greece to introduce their music to a wider audience. In 2021, we had 22 concerts, operas, quartets, piano and violin performances, hosted all over Greece. 5,790 guests attended the concerts and 68 musicians participated at the Austrian Greek Music Summer. And I think this is quite a success given all the circumstances which we had over the last years and also last summer with COVID. It is a great honor and a pleasure for the Austrian Embassy that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Hellenic Republic, as well as the Ministry of Culture and Sports of the Hellenic Republic, have given their auspices to the Austrian Greek Music Summer in the past year, thereby expressing their appreciation for this initiative. We are also grateful for the support of our sponsors Without them, we could not do so many things. So the sponsors, which I would like to name is the Serta Alpiland, the Austrian language diploma, as well as the company Inforum Ecos. Thank you very much for the support and we hope that this will continue also in the future. And of course, I would like also to thank all the highly talented musicians and the professional event partners who made the concerts possible. A great thank you also to the renowned 
violinist who has Anja Morgenstern, who is also a member of the research staff of the digital Mozart edition of the Mozart Foundation Science Group from 2007, where she is responsible for the online edition of letters and documents of the Mozart family. Ms. Morgenstern performed in two concerts together with Ms. Genia Motanopoulou, who brought us closer to the music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. This great composer has fascinated people all over the world for more than 250 years, and I think this will continue forever. Special thanks to Mrs. Evgenia Botanopoulou and Mr. Kostas Yako personally that they initiated this cooperation. I think this is a very, very good cooperation which helps both of us, the Mozart and also the aims of the Austrian Embassy in Athens to promote Austrian culture. The Austrian Embassy will be happy to continue this cooperation also in 2022. We all hope that the COVID crisis will come to an end soon, so that we can come back to normal life or somehow normal life. Cultural activities and artists especially, suffered a lot during the last two years. They were not able to perform or only under really, really very strange conditions sometimes, but they overcome all those. We all want culture and especially music, classical music, to be, to be again this valuable part of our life as it has always been. I wish all of you, Mozart Mellas, a great success, and I'm looking forward to continued cooperation. Thank you. Please accept this plaque as a token of appreciation for the contribution in Mozart Mellas. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this is a great honor for me. Um, and uh, I would like to thank also my deputy Martina Hermann and also Karen Amata at the embassy. They did a great job in organizing all the concerts. And as you know, it has not been that easy. And one has to be very flexible very often. Uh, but they did a great job and they're doing a great job. So I think this is also for yeah. Martina Hermann. Yeah. Uh, we are ready to continue with uh, the CEO of Mozarteo Salon Foundation, Mr. Rainer Hellheims, please. Hello, good evening from Salzburg to Athens. I hope you can see me and you can hear me very well. Uh, yes. Your that's, that's nice, Costa. Thank you. Uh, your Excellencies, dear Ambassador Popola, dear Evgenia de Costas, dear members of Mozarteo Hellas. It's really a great honor for me to be able to briefly introduce myself today at your annual meeting and to send you a short keynote address here from Austria. I had the honor to visit your beautiful country last year and joined Evgenias and Costas Hospitality at the aviation event. Uh, I think it was last, uh, last September. And it was really a nice time in Athens. Um, I'm Rana Henais, and as Costas and Evgenia already said, I'm now responsible as CEO for the foundation since last summer, as successor of Tobias DB. However, I've been working for the foundation here in Salzburg since uh, for three years now. In, per, in the first years, responsible for marketing, sales, and communication, and since, since last July as the CEO. I would like to take the opportunity today to present you a short uh, overview of the situation here at the foundation in Salzburg. And I hope you can see right now my presentation. Can you see this, Kostas? Yes, we can see it. Okay, so then we will try. If this works here, wait a moment. Try so, to put in a, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
As in the whole world, um, we, we told some minutes ago, the current corona situation in Austria and especially in Salzburg is not really easy at this moment. High numbers and constantly changing rules um, by the governors led to a significant reduction in the numbers of visitors here in Salzburg and in Austria. And we also feel this um, as a foundation because we are, as a number of a non-profit um, 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 organization we lives mainly through, from our tourists and from the revenues what they bring in our museums what's at your birth place and residence here in Salzburg. Compared for the time um, before corona we are currently at the level of about 40% um, um, against the situation before corona. Here you see the figures of our visitors in our museums on a monthly base and usually, as you see on the, on the left side, in July and August, in, during the holidays, we have more or less uh, around about 100,000 visitors per month in our museum. Uh, in the last August, um, it was nearly 40% um, of the situation before Corona. Um, that means um, that we are uh, left a lot of uh, revenues uh, um, 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 in the foundation um, based on our museum's business. And um, especially like uh, in the last December, we had a, a, a new lockdown and you see with 6,000 uh, visitors last December, it is nothing against the situation before Corona. But we are still um, optimistic um, that we can um, have a 70% level um, in the next summer because we see the Corona situation will going better and better in the next months. And, and we hope that the tourism we're going, we're coming back to Austria, especially the tourism, uh, the city tourism here in Salzburg. And so we are quite optimistic um, what the next year will happen here in Salzburg, but it is at the, at the moment really um, a hard situation for the foundation. But these times are also challenging for us for the concept business, especially and for the festival business. And actually we are um, 10 days uh, before the start of the next Mozart week should start on Mozart's birthday, January the 27th. And as uh, I think you, you heard it, um, we have last week, we had uh, uh, to cancel the festival based on the estimation for the Corona figures in the next weeks. And for this, I would uh, uh, just to give you a short um, 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 address uh, from, our, um, uh, from our artistic director, Orlando Miasson, um, to this case. And I hope you can hear him. If not, cost us be Please give me a short sign. Um, we cannot hear. We can see, but we cannot hear. You cannot hear. Okay. So then, then I would um, then I would uh, say I would uh, send you the uh, the YouTube link. Um, um, all the members of this um, event uh, just to to hear what Rolando um, um, is telling you. If it's okay. So it's always the same with the Zoom meetings. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, so we had, we had to cancel the Mozart week and um, um, we had uh, to- so, um, Sorry, uh, Rainer, if we won- uh, uh, From our guests, but uh, the Reiner. situation and the estimation of the governor here in Salzburg is that especially, especially at the starting of the festival in 10 days, um, the figures here will be the highest for the Omicron uh, wave. And they estimate 10 to 15% will be ill at this point in Salzburg. And so it is from our side, not, not really responsible um, to uh, invite 50% um, uh, international guests at this point to Salzburg and uh, to welcome here more than 500 artists at this point because it was too dangerous. And uh, so we decided to cancel the Mozart week for this year and will take place the next Mozart week in January, 2023. But um, on the other side, um, we had a lot of um, positive projects here. And uh, I think the, the biggest one is right now our building project here in Salzburg at the Mozarteum Foundation. Um, here you see um, the, the, the picture of our old buildings. And we uh, right now built a new building, a new grand for year here in the middle. And we started this building project one year ago, and we are still um, in time with this project and it looks very nice if you see every day that some something new is um, developing and um, we are very proud on this project because it will be um, bring us a new um, a new positive um, um, a way um, to use these buildings 
and to have a little uh, uh, um, quite more um, possibilities to use the buildings for concerts, for conferences, um, for events um, in every kind. Here you see some pictures what happens right now. We um, building here a new steel class building between the old um, administration building and the concert hall. And especially for before Christmas, um, we started here with this construction of the steel uh, material. And in the near future, we will, um, um, we will open this, um, this new building um, probably in October uh, 2022. And also here I can give you a short overview what it looks like here, especially in Salzburg. And um, there's a little fly cam, what we made uh, two weeks ago. And here you see between the buildings, we build in this steel construction and here um, the rest will class. And here you see two, two new floors on the one floor, the, the great hall, um, where you can uh, use then your coffee um, during the break time or in front or after the concerts. And here in the other level, uh, we get a new, um, a new uh, um, uh, floor for press conferences and more. Here you see the picture of the great hall. And um, here you see the steel um, construction and the rest will be glass. So it is um, very often with a lot of light and um, it looks so I should uh, give a lot of light to Mozart and to all this work what we are doing here right now in the foundation. Here you see a picture of the, of the other floor, um, uh, the ground floor, and it has 180 square meters. Um, um, the other one is a little bit larger because we um, um, have then an, a great entrance here to this garden. This garden is uh, uh, bordered uh, to the Mirabel uh, uh, garden here in Salzburg. And it's really a beautiful place, especially in summertime, where we can have a lot of new concerts or something else um, to, uh, to make um, very, very successful, very uh, special events um, here in Salzburg for national and international guests. We are right now, after the Mozart week, we, we, we start the new, um, the next building phase, and then um, we make a break um, um, for this uh, construction uh, during the Salzburg Festival in summer, in July, August. And then in October, we will um, have a great uh, grand opening. And uh, so I will uh, invite you all um, to be part of this grand opening. We will celebrate Mozart here for four days for a special Mozart Fest and um, starting on October the 20th. And um, I think that will, and I hope um, that, that Corona is then history and we had the, the possibility to celebrate here really a big, uh, a big event with great concerts, with great, great musicians, with a lot of um, um, special exhibitions and something more um, to celebrate the foundation and to celebrate Mozart. And then after this project, we will start the next um, phase on, uh, on this building project that will be the renovation of the Great Hall. Um, as you know, the, our Great Hall with 800 seats is one of the acoustic best concert halls in Europe. But um, as you see here on the pictures, uh, the last renovation is uh, 40 years, uh, it was 40 years ago. And so we, we have to start to renovate um, the, the whole concert hall. Um, we will have new seats, we will have new floors, and we will have a, a huge restoration here in the, in the hall, um, um, concert hall, together with our partners. And um, this project will start then um, in uh, 2022 in summer. And um, then it will need uh, more or less three years because we have always uh, to, uh, to, to break our concert business for three or four months to work then in this uh, hall and um, to, um, to finalize this until 2025. As you can see, we are, um, uh, beside of these corona cases, we are still positive here in Salzburg. We are trying to make the best possible use for the corona break to prepare the Mozarteum Foundation for the future. And especially the Mozart, uh, the, the Mozart communities and, um, are, of course, a great help for us, especially the Mozarteum Hellas. Um, 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 guys with Costas of Kenya and you all. And um, we can deliver our work to the world and benefit from new contacts and all these ideas, what you have and what you bring uh, to Salzburg and uh, to our relationship. 
And for this, I would uh, like to thank you all very, uh, very much uh, once again. And of course, we would be very happy to welcome you then in October or uh, finally at the next, next, next Mozart Week in January 2023 here in Salzburg at the Mozarteum Foundation in our new building. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reiner. Um, I'll try to uh, uh, share um, and, um, the video. I think that. Hello? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I'll try to upload the video that um, uh, uh, we couldn't see it uh, from, uh, from my side. Then I will try to share okay. my screen and to see if, if it works. Give me a second. Rolando, the sad Rolando artistic director. <laughs> yeah, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, yeah, I think. Okay. Dear audience, if you have been following the news, then you know how dramatic the corona situation is here in Salzburg. And after many conversations with the local authorities, unfortunately, there is not um, a better situation in the near future. On the contrary, the, the peak of the uh, pandemic is um, expected to happen during the Mozart week 2022. We have tried everything, but it would be completely irresponsible and negligent from our part to try to keep the Mozart Woche 2022 in view of the uh, official assessments. The health and the security of everybody involved, artists, the people working in this beautiful institution, and you, our wonderful audience, must come first. In light of this, it breaks my heart, it breaks all our hearts to announce that we are forced to cancel the Mozart Week 2022 for pandemic reasons. Today is a very sad day, but we want and we have to look into the future. And in spring, we will be publishing the programs first for the Mozart Woche 2023 and also for the great reopening of this beautiful Große Saal of our uh, Mozarteum Foundation that will take place in October. So I want to thank you all for your understanding. Thank you all also for your wonderful support. And we can't wait to welcome you back here in Salzburg with great music and with great Mozart light. Till then, please stay healthy and we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Well, I think we managed to uh, to see it, uh, Rainer. Yep. Good. And uh, now um, uh, I'm pleasure to. Uh, uh, I hope we'll work to hear uh, the sonata for piano and violin, uh, E flat major. Sorry about uh, my uh, if I'm not pronounced correct. KV four eight one first movement uh, that was recorded an hour ago from. Uh, our president, uh, Vienia Votanopoulou, and our vice president, um, Nina Patrikidou. Uh, Ms. Votanopoulou, piano, and Ms. Patrikidou in violin. Let me share again my screen.
Thank you very much. Uh, and I would like to thank all of you for joining uh, today's event um, in this hybrid format. And um, I would like also to thank our member, Andreas Papathedor, who kindly offered the Zoom link in order to be able to um, have this event uh, in a hybrid format, as I already said. Um, uh, Rainer, I would like to thank your presence, also um, Your Excellency, um, uh, Ms. Popular for your presence today and uh, hopefully next year uh, we can meet uh, here in Athens uh, with a physical presence um, uh, and not a virtual one. Uh, we saw that uh, always technology have issues and problems then um, <laughs> real uh, physical uh, they don't have problems then um, um, on behalf of Mozart and Velas, I would like to thank all of you and um, uh, hopefully we will meet soon uh, either in, uh, in Greece or in Austria and in Salzburg. I wish uh, all of you a pleasant evening. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, joining us uh, today.